So. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Go Getters Podcast. The Go Getters Podcast. What is that? What? Oh, it's a piece of tape from the mic. Oh. I think you should soundbite that clip and make it your intro for Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Go Getters Podcast. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Go Getters Podcast. <laughs> Mr. Mandola, like, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the Go Getters Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hoodie, 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 hoodie. Myers was a weird place, man. Yeah, it was. Bizarre. Fucking Myers. 2020 saw the last days of Myers. Fucking man. cockroaches running around and shit. Man, yeah. cockroaches. We were just casually. Oh, yeah. But don't step on them. Don't Cause step on them. Because then you'll get, you get cockroaches at your house. Is that yeah. a real thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah, the teachers it? used to tell us that. Well, teachers used to tell us that, yeah. yeah. I'm going to look that up. I always heard that, but I always thought it was like a wives tale. But oh yeah, no, I don't know if it's an actual fact that you'll mm. track them to your house, but it seems right. Best believe, I would never ever step on one of them cockroaches though. I would never do that. Yeah, I don't have the gusto, and I don't really want to hurt those little guys. Those things infested our locker room, bro. Yeah. Squishing a cockroach and releasing its eggs. Fake. Fake news. Fake news. According to this. No way. According to what? Shout them out. Google um, okay. HTTPS colon slash slash prime pest dot net. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Stomp those babies out. And Utheka, <laughs> one Utheka can have anywhere from 10 to 50 eggs inside, and we'll depending on the Utheka. species, depending on the species. So if you squish a female cockroach with your shoe, most likely she has already deposited her eggs safely elsewhere. Really? Can you further explain Utheka? That's what it says on here, and I don't know what that word means. I'm going to Google that now. Yeah, it's a good Google. My thing, though, that I always thought about for that was, like, if you stepped on a mm -hmm. cockroach, say, at 1 p.m., mm -hmm. <laughs> you walked around for the rest of the day, like, on the concrete and grass, do you think by then, like, if you went home, like, you'll probably be all right? Stepping in puddles, like, what if it's raining outside? <clears throat> well, we just found out that this is, in fact, false and fake news. Theka True. Is no. the egg case of cockroaches. Ooh. Okay. Why do they always change the name? It's a great question. Right. Just keep it at egg case. Egg. Egg case. Yeah. Well, I don't know why we need a. I mean, you know, I guess humans shell. have we could, weird you know, names why don't we for call all their shit. Chickens, egg cases, shells. Or shells? We do call them shells. We when do, you break them, they're shells. It's shells. the shell around <laughs> the egg. Come on. See, this is prime comedy, right? When here. you break them, they're shells? No, huh? it's a shell before it's broken. All right, I, well, have nah, yeah. I have a huh. question for you guys. If, say, you guys. Right, become a cockroach. Oh God! Do you think that you would be able to live longer than a human life as a cockroach if you had the same thoughts and like <laughs> mind capability of a human? Oh God! So keep your brain, but you're a cockroach. Do you think you could survive longer Ooh. as a cockroach? Nah, because cockroaches ought to be cockroaches, and, and cockroaches you could fly have less lifespan than humans. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. How long does a cockroach actually be living for? Is that true? Wait, look We're up. We're gonna pull up, up Google. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Like Google's our friend that I Jamie lives. for the day. Because I thought they survived anything. They're one of those, like, lobsters. You know how lobsters, if they don't get killed, they just live, like, forever. I actually, no, I do think cockroaches probably live for, like, at least a year. Because <laughs> I had... <laughs> the average cockroach lifespan is about 20 to 30 weeks. Wow. Really? Yikes. Yeah. I swore I had a pet cockroach it's for at least there. a year. Given that the... Roach has steady mm. access to food and water. So that's well, ideal lifespan. All right, there's look 50 up longest cockroach lifespan. Do <laughs> you think anybody studied that? <laughs> Yo, I mean, I think there's only 52 weeks in a year, though. You so said, do you think anyone studied that? Bro, people have studied everything. Some weird things. I guess you're right. It's probably out there. Google knows all. Okay, well, this says... The wonderfully named rhinoceros cockroach is the heaviest in the world, typically weighing more than one full ounce. It's also the longest living of all insects with an average lifespan of about 10 years. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So, so it's saying. only a certain kind so of cockroach, right. I guess. Let me change up the question then because I thought they were some, uh, you know, shit, long living beings. <laughs> uh, do you think you could survive the full 10 years? With a human brain, human as, brain a as a cockroach? Nah. Do I have cockroach instincts or full human brain? You have, similar to Spider-Man, cockroach feelings. No, but like... Like, like I just got my cockroach senses. I know exactly what you mean like, by that. Yeah, I <laughs> wouldn't know... Like spidey senses, yeah. like cockroach. Like my brain, I don't know what cockroaches 
prey after or like are gonna <laughs> go like if if you turn into right, a cockroach right now because uh, i think it, you'll just get hungry and you'll know what you want to eat like if you turn you know into a cockroach ho- right now what's your first move what are you gonna do i don't know how to be a cockroach yeah. i'm gonna find my first meal no nah, there's two ways that goes it's I'm either a smaller bug i think it's either you die instantly because you have no idea how to be a cockroach or you somehow find a way to survive no actually and I you do. lead the revolt right and, and i do know what cockroaches eat they eat fruits and veggies oh yeah because i had a pet cockroach man no way oh, you yeah. had a pet cockroach. I had, two, I had two pet cockroaches, and they screamed sometimes. That's, that's, that is the most trench baby shit I was just gonna say I've that. ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's <laughs> crazy, uh, that's I fuck with it. I got fucked with the two cockroaches yeah, dude, for pets. What were their names? It's cause, uh, <laughs> I don't think we had names for them. We? But, well, it was just like none of us really wanted them. So my grandmother used to always <laughs> give us crazy-ass okay, gifts. Right. Like, um, and... Often they were insect related. Like I also different years. It was always Christmas. Like the one year I um I got uh what are they fucking called? Mm. Praying mantis eggs and like they hatched like four hundred praying mantis. So my <laughs> grandmother literally just just said, "Hey, here's this chore. Take care of these four hundred beings." You know, which is very stressful. And praying mantis are like. That like they're not. I I feel like of any insect, they're not an easy one to like keep around no. and keep going. Like they're they're well, thugged out. Praying mantises I, are about the shit. That's true. And this is what happened. She gave a, she ordered them off Amazon. Christmas, so we got these praying mantis, and the time that we had them, by the time they were hatching, it was still cold out. They all died. <laughs> so the cockroaches though How did you get the cockroaches So the cockroaches were just another gift She gave them to us in little plastic Containers that you might see a hamster in <laughs> Oh my god just Live cockroaches she yeah, just gave two you Two live <laughs> I think they were like African cockroaches or something okay. that, But they're, they were huge And they would scream They would scream occasionally <laughs> Yeah <laughs> That's the craziest shit, man. Wow. Yeah, and uh, there was also there was one more bug related gift from my grandmother. I remember it was also we got a um, ladybug spawn, so it was also like four hundred to six hundred ladybugs. That's oh. kind of sick. Ladybugs are tough. But I mean, they, I know they're th- a nuisance. They were but released tough. into the house somehow. You know, I was a kid. Yeah. And you know, my parents just decided to let. You know, it's cool. Yeah. Let's just yeah, give just this <laughs> nine year old <laughs> four hundred ladybugs. See what he's got to go with them. So, yeah, I think eventually. Actually, there was a little bit of an outbreak, but yeah. it wasn't like the whole thing. I kept a f- hell of frogs as pets when I was kid. You yeah, would when just I trap was a kid. Them. Yeah, no, nah, I would when it would whenever it would rain outside, I would go outside. And I'd always find like five frogs. <laughs> my thing was it was a little trench baby shit too. But my thing was mice. I used to keep oh mice Jesus, I would catch in my house that is trench pets. baby shit. Yeah, nah, I, I keep for them me in Tupperware because I used to live in the sticks. <laughs> so for me it was salamanders. Oh. I used to just I used to bring home salamanders up all in the, the creek. Time. Bro. Up in the creek. Up yeah. in the creek. Dude, I used the to go salamander creek? hunting every time I would go camping. Yeah, that was bro. the first thing I would do. Hey, every time flip I flip over some rocks. Bro. Yeah, find the salamanders. Some every time I went leaves. to my pop's house, uh, there was this one we it, he had like an acre of land. But it was like skinny and just in a straight line. Like it's like the width of his house and then straight back for like a mile. Yep. So there was a lot of, you know, walking to do. And there was this one little board. That it was like like a prime slimy feet. boy territory. Yeah, like four feet by like four feet. Yep. And it just you just lift that hoe up. There'd be thirty five salamanders. Those under little it. wet lizards, man. <laughs> wet little wet lizards. lizards. Mm-hmm. Are those a bunch like of roly polies and shit? It's probably mud, a real dumb question. Puppies. But are, are those things even considered lizards? One no. and two. No, what? they're amphibians. They're uh, amphibians, right? Yeah, yeah some kind of like I don't know. I'm not about to sound real dumb, but like like the frog family. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, amphibians. Frog, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Go Getters podcast, everybody. Look at this. It's an interesting to way like to go dummy. here. Jake Salamanders are not lizards. They are what not are lizards. they? They're amphibians. Nice. Come that's on, right. we knew that. We said that. I'm just gonna keep Google that. open on my phone. <laughs> not a bad idea. I'll be the Jamie for the day. Yeah, dude. Yeah. But shit, man, I'm joined by Otis, the one and only. Jake, the one and only. Goop. Goop. Some hometown greasers. <laughs> hometown greasers. Yeah. I like that. Greasy. I'm going to name my first band after the hometown greasers. Yo, we should do that. Yeah, it's man. wild, too, because we got a whole pocket recording studio right here. So Real rap. what we could do is do that exactly. The hometown greasers. Otis, you know how to play the drums. Come on. Tell me Otis wouldn't be on there. 
banging crazy. I'll be on the uke, bro. The uke? Oh my god, I forgot you know how to play the uke. Jake's on the uke or I the bring, saxophone. I bring <laughs> no value to this team because no, I don't play you anything. Got the vocals, you <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna say everybody like that. Give us a give us a trap classic. No, (laughs) (laughs) no, that's not what you called it that night. What was it? Give us a hood classic. The hood classic. No, I think he originally called it. (laughs) Yeah, it was a no. It was a trap anthem. I think. Oh, trap anthem. Give us a trap. Give us a trap anthem. No, (laughs) no. Give us a trap anthem. Uh, No. Copyright. Copyright infringement. It's what this is going on YouTube. We can't play around. (laughs) Yeah, you can't play around, bro. God forbid you sing a Taylor Swift song. Scared to no, you can't play around on the tube, cords, bro. Baby. God forbid. No, you actually know that there really is some songs that you can't even like sing without them trying to like get on you for it. Yeah, I know. Like a lot of music, they'll DMC for you. That's DMC you ridiculous. For. I get playing it. I think I was looking into it, and I don't. I mean, I don't know how true this is because I think I think it was on YouTube though that told me this. I think you could legally use up to like fifteen seconds of a song without it being subjected to copyright, like Something under fair like that, use or yeah. whatever. And that'd be dope. Like, that's uh, why I think you always see, like, YouTubers and whatnot use, like, really popular songs as, like, their outro music. That one fucking Skrillex song in all the 2012 music. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that one, the Sandstorm song that everybody would play? The, how does that song go? Like, the club song. I don't know. But that was, like, the big uh, the YouTube song back then. Everybody would always play that. Nah, bro, you know some shit? This is completely off topic. Mm. But I was at work the other day, and I'm working in a nightclub, right? Like, it's Uh-oh. a it's a nightclub. It's not, like, I mean, it's not crazy packed in there, but there's there's people at the bar. Like, Occasionally, shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. No, I mean this at this particular moment it okay. was there was there was a good amount of people in there. And guess what the DJ plays? What's that? My money don't jiggle J- jiggle. Yeah. No it fold. I bro, I, I swear there. to God he played the song. Like Maddie and I because Maddie was at the other bar, we just yeah. looked over at each other and we were like, yeah. What the fuck? Dude, that's ridiculous. <laughs> and motherfuckers are getting groovy to it too. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Otis, what's the craziest thing? I don't think I ever asked you, what's the craziest thing you ever witnessed in that bar? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> the dude falling out of the stall. I've seen a couple pussies. Oh, okay. Um, real ones. That's good. Uh, yeah, yeah I never I've have. seen I've seen a couple people pass out, and uh, a lot of people like to to bump and grind, and it gets pretty gr- gets pretty gritty. It gets the pretty dude aggressive. In the stall, in there? bro. Tell the story. Oh, stall, dude. <laughs> 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 All right. So this one time, I was working at the same nightclub as Jake. And um, I'm a bar back, so I have to jump behind the bars, you know, supply them. And I was on my way out of the bar. I jump over because I don't want to crawl through the tiny-ass doors that they supply us with. Mm. And so I'm jumping over the bar, land directly on a spilled drink, right? I hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> nice hit the ground sound. <laughs> Thank you. You need some sound bites. Um, I hit the ground, and... Uh, you know, a couple of people saw me. I was a little startled. So I get up and uh, I just need a breather. I run to the bathroom. I, w- I literally, I open the door, walk into the bathroom. Three seconds in, the stall directly in front of me, there was a closed door. Door opens, man with his ass completely out, falls completely unconscious out of the stall door in front of my feet. Oh, God. So I'm like, I, I went in there to catch a breath, you know what I'm saying? Because I just... Fell and got embarrassed. Now you gotta deal with this man. Now I just uh, well, I didn't deal with this man. I did oh. probably the worst thing that you could possibly do when you see someone dying in front of you with their pants down. Is I I turned around and I walked away. Oh, didn't God. you go get security though? You told I think me I went and got security. I might have taken a breather first though. Oh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. that's bad. I mean, I guess you see a lot of that though. There, you do see a lot of it, and yeah. you know, I've seen a lot of people passing out. You know, occasionally, yeah. so they get a little. You get know, little you get drunk. used to it, and then I and then I figured, you know what, this could be worse than I thought, and then I think mm. I grabbed a security guard. I yeah, dude. When I was still bar back in there, the one day, fucking, it was me and the other bar back, not Otis, and we walk into this one bar, like into the area of it, and the bartender at the time is like, "Yo, go in the hallway. This girl's passed out, and she was fully conscious, yeah, covered in piss." Ooh. And just laying in the hallway, that tiny little hallway, like yeah. my exec. That's hot. Yeah, she she had pissed her pants, and all due respect, right? All oh due God. respect. Oh God! The woman. We were told to pick her up and get her to her room, mm. but the two of us. Not easy. 
it wouldn't have been an easy task. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I hear you. And <laughs> so, <laughs> and also, I didn't want to cover this lady. She's soaked in her own piss. Yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't want to touch this lady. Mm. So, Get we. The uh, yellow fever. <laughs> got we cool just went feet. and got security. And the poor, the, her poor boyfriend, this, we were like carrying me, the other bar back, and like two security guards are carrying this lady to her to hotel room. And her boyfriend's walking next to us, and this poor girl is so drunk, or his this poor guy, his girlfriend is so drunk, and just talking about how great a gangbang would be. Oh, with all like me, the bar back, and the other security guards. That's yeah. rough. Yeah, yeah. and the boyfriend no. is standing next to us. Not the only the amount of swingers at the Woodlands, though, he might have been into it. Yeah, bro. When I, I was bartending the other night, and I had a thruple make children. I I watched children <laughs> get conceived oh, at my yeah, bar. Dude. A thruple. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was some shit, dude. My you see some shit there, really, right. really do. My thing though on that last story, why did you guys need to figure that out when her boyfriend was with her? Because, because her boyfriend, uh, like I said, it it wasn't an easy task to get her up off the ground and where she needed yeah. to be, and her boyfriend was also wasted. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, shouldn't he kind of be like taking care of that situation? I mean, like, I mean, I I get it. Yeah, their relationship <laughs> ain't none of my business, but. I don't think he would have pulled it off on his own. Yeah, no, that's a rough one, man. You see yeah. that a lot there. That gr that girl the last time we were there was bugging out. And that's yeah. in the AM. Like, that's yeah. what you got to think. Like, it was like fucking noon. She was just on drugs, though. She wasn't like oh, blackout drunk. Man. She was on some yeah. other shit. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of that. It's kind of bizarre that people like me and you as a bartender or a bar back are just assumed. I think probably because we're just men, right? That we, it's like fine for us to just like do these tasks that are uh, maybe like a security guard or someone um, else would do. Maybe yeah. a paramedic no, should I be called. But like I've even, yeah. I had to carry that. I don't know. Were you there that day when I had to carry? Um, I think her name was Heather. Uh, I heard about it. I wasn't there though. I, yeah, I told I'm, him before. Bartending is like you're like a toxic therapist. Uh, yeah, 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 you are. <laughs> yeah. It's, and it sucks because I feel bad because these people are coming. And spilling their life story to me, mm -hmm. and getting hammered in the process, and I just feel like that's not healthy, right? Yeah. Like I feel like I shouldn't be feeding these sad, 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 sad people alcohol, but it's my job to do so. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rough one. And knowing when to stop them, especially well, yeah. being young, and yeah. uh, I could see you being like, I feel like I shouldn't have the power to stop this fifty-year-old man from drinking if he wants to. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they feel the same way. I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> you tell a grown-ass man he's not allowed to drink anymore, and it causes oh, a yeah. problem as a twenty-year-old fucking skinny kid. Yeah, I was gonna say I watched a twenty-year-old girl the other day like freak out because of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean like I've. That's yeah, rough. I've, I've had people say some fucked up shit to me just be, just to get some booze. Yeah. What do you see, Kev? That girl, the one that I was, we were just talking about, some girl was going crazy in the AM at the Woodlands, but, uh. Oh, right. The I didn't know you saw that. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I was there. there. That day. Um, yeah, no, it was crazy. Where was I going, though? What, what did I say about her? Oh, no, I watched her freak out, though. Like, you know what I mean? And she's, like, a young girl. I can only imagine what it's like cutting, like, a, a big drunk dude off at the bar who's, like, trying to impress people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, she wasn't having it when oh, Maddie no, she, she was wasn't. not having it. That was the bad part about it, like, and you get to see it, too, because she's clearly messed up. Like, I mean, like, slumping over Otis. Like, she's just... And, like, not like not because she was over-served. She was right. just on drugs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. she... You could tell. I mean, she had a good couple of cocktails, but she wasn't, like, slurring her words right. or, like, yeah. falling over. She was just... On some hard yeah, shit. The girl yeah. I carried away to her room was chewing on her purse and yeah. arguing yeah. with Ooh. the floor. Yeah, <laughs> that's rough. You she, know that's not alcohol. She was in rough shape too. Yeah, yeah. Did I, I tell wasn't you? there that day, but I had her at my bar before. Uh, and yeah, she was she's in been rough there several shape. times. I think she's been kicked out by now. That's rough. Multiple times. That's rough. I told you I seen a crazy woman fighting with like five cops in a train station in really? New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. This older lady. Who, like, mind you, this is the scenario. Like, she's in the middle of, like, a train station. Everybody's watching her. There's, like, five cops around. And she's, like, screaming, I'm not drunk, I'm not drunk. <laughs> while, mind you, while she is holding a big, like, one of them dollar, like, 40 cans from the gas station, right? <laughs> holding one of them in her hand. And her pants, she's wearing, like, to her knee... Like cargo shorts, like the brown material, screaming, I'm not drunk, I'm not drunk. If you have to say you're not drunk, you're probably drunk. Her pants right? are covered in piss, <laughs> like covered in piss, right? And has a big can of uh, beer in her hand. 
And these cops, like, they're literally just standing there, like, with their hands on their hip. I guess they couldn't really do nothing about it because they're, like, transit police. I thought they were real officers. I don't know, like, what's the difference there or, like, why they weren't doing nothing about it. Huh? What was, uh, how many of those cops were white, bald, and fat? Oh, my God. All of them. (laughs) That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, continue. (laughs) No, but the lady was white, too, though. So, you know how that goes. Mm. I don't know how, I don't know how the story panned out. Like, I don't know. I left. I'm not being involved in that. The people there were crazy, man. Like, the people you run into there are, like, it really puts, like, life into perspective. I think it's weird that we have to have five cops for one woman. And I think yeah. it's because we're using Paul Blart as the criteria for oh, cops still. Yeah. And I think we should switch it up, you know? Yeah. Go after the young football kids, maybe. I think <laughs> there should definitely be some some adjustments Rugby made. Rugby players. The, so we should go after sports for the physical cops. Physical qualifications of a police officer. I think the standards should be upped a little bit. Oh, no. My well, thing is... I guess they already have too much power. Maybe, like, a few yeah. donuts is good for them. Yeah. No. Well, no, because then they just resort to shooting people. That's like <laughs> right. a thing. Like, a lot can't of cops catch you, I'm going to just shoot you in the back. <laughs> right. yeah, a lot of cops are very unfit, man. You ever realize, like, especially, like, I always get blown away at the security at, like, certain places and, hey, like, man. venues and stuff like that. Cops never Dog. caught me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you think any of them sorry security teams at, like, those venues and, like, concerts and stuff are stopping anything, you're out of your mind. Oh, no. yeah. Most of them They're are, like, above... Weed. Most of them are above the age of 60, and are small, like short, frail, or big. Yeah, yeah. They're not doing nothing. I, I, we have a pretty sturdy security team. We do. And while it changes weekly, mm. we have like they're almost always pretty sturdy. Like yeah. you need one at a club though. Yeah, you. Ab- yeah. We would absolutely be fucked if we didn't have good security. Uh, yeah. We didn't have security for one day, and I saw two two of my bartenders get assaulted. Ooh. Yeah, That's and right. I let. So I was supposed to be there for a quote-unquote male presence, according to my manager, right? So I'm, apparently I'm also a security guard, but I was standing there for maybe 30 minutes looking at this group of people that were causing problems, and they were pretty nice when I was around. I left for about three minutes to go grab Bacardi for one of my bartenders. I come back, and I see two assaults happen. <laughs> 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 These people that I was just watching, like, sitting down having drinks. Oh, is that the other night when they were throwing shit at people? Yeah, yeah. I think they both... They're both pressing charges, Alex oh. and uh, Sarah. Sarah, that's Good. rough, man. You guys deal with a lot of crazy stuff there. I don't know if you remember, but what were you just thinking about over there before? You just said something oh, you were gonna say. This won't mean much to you, Kev, but oh, it's. I think I watched our DJ get arrested today. Ooh, um, Andrew? No, the one that uh, was there this weekend. Oh, the guy that talks about quarters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Poor I, guy. Yeah, no, I was. What would was, he get arrested for, man? I don't know. He's the nicest guy, yeah, but man. I was coming down. Um, Nobody who has a hobby of collecting quarters and selling the ones that he thinks are cool should be arrested, man. Oh no, I don't know. Unless you're a pedophile. That to me is a red flag right away. <laughs> but anyway, I was coming down <laughs> by like by like the square kind of. Right. And um, I just see I saw two cop cars sitting like parked up on the curb, almost like right by that Turkey Hill. Like, across the street from that, on the curb, and um, what's it called? I just saw two cop cars, lights on, on the curb, and him and another guy just sitting, like, being held real, like, not, like, cuffed or anything, but being held real close to the cops, talking to them, and I really hope he didn't get booked, because that's my boy. That's my boy, man. Oh, He's man a, I mean, I might be okay with him be getting booked, only because... You know, I, I know a lot more about quarters than I did previously. <laughs> so you no. want him to go to jail for that? Yeah, bro. He talks about it way too much. Quarters? Like, no, because that's what no, I mean. I, I'm almost getting trapped in the corner by yeah. this guy, and he's like, well, if you ever see an S <laughs> on the side, and it, the S has to be alongside um, the 20, 2019 edition quarter. If you oh met this God. guy, like, he sounds just like that. You would never imagine him being a DJ at a nightclub. Oh <laughs> like, no, that's his wouldn't. profession. Yeah, and he sounds just like that, talking about quarters. And <laughs> yeah, dude, he, he literally, like, you know, not literally, but I was pretty much trapped in the corner for about two hours talking about quarters to this guy. <laughs> yeah, if anybody's, I was done after like, the first three minutes. <laughs> I mean, I guess pe- everybody's weirdly obsessed with weird things, but, like... Right, 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 right. Certain things, like, quarters, that's a red flag to me. Red I'm flag. not... No, I'm not gonna lie, though. I don't know, because I used to love, like... Well, no, I still do. I was just talking about this the other day, actually. I love, like, foreign money. Like, I always, like, collect, like, foreign coins and, like, dollars if I could. I got some Arabian money. Really? That's pretty cool. That's right. I love just funky shit. Like, I have a... A half dollar and a dollar coin sitting mm. on my dresser over there. 
you know, my pop gave me this thing, this like bottle of those like, what are they? The the wheat pennies or that is that what they're called? Hay the pennies. Wheat, hay, penny. hay pennies or whatever. Half wheat penny. <laughs> yeah. Well, wheat he penny. he gave me like a bottle full of those. Really? Yeah. I've, I've actually never laid my eyes on a hay penny. Really? Yeah, that's like pretty cool. There's like to see a hay penny. There's somewhere. a silver. Oh, you know, I have seen those. Yeah. There's a silver penny too, huh? Nice. Jake is running away. Jake's running away. With his very small ankles. <laughs> Jake got small ankles? Jake's got really little ankles. Don't talk about it, though. Long toes. He's not going to ever know, because he's not going to get this far into it, John. Oh, no, so. he would never listen this far into his oh, conversation, yeah. but yeah. he's got real small ankles. He doesn't like it. So everybody knows, yeah, Jake got long toes, long ankles. It's better than cankles, though. Oh, God. What's up, Lobes? Jake's dog's in the room. Oh yeah, Jake. by the way, we're doing a fucking This is a, uh, a travel cast We're travel not in cast. the current location So we're at Jake's house right now And uh, we got some puppies running around That's right I could definitely use some more water though But I don't want to go up there too Because that'll be a big pause Hey bro, you can have a glug on my shit Are you sure? Yeah, time. go for it Nice See, there you go, ladies and gentlemen That's what friends are for mm-hmm. They keep you hydrated During the hydrated. podcast my man needed some bread. I'd give him some bread. Yeah. Jay kind of just dipped away like... um. And I mean um, the kind you make with yeast. That's some like real like if we lived in like a Marvel world mm-hmm. like where there's like real superheroes and stuff and Jake just disappeared like that, I would think he was a superhero. That's like some real like... Too. Yeah, if we had superheroes. Like throw the cape on, fly away real yeah. quick kind of activity. Jake's the type of guy that I already kind of think he's a superhero because he's just... um he doesn't, s- he doesn't have enough secrets. Oh, yeah? Know? So he's got to have way too many secrets because... Mm. I can't yeah. know, you know. I can't know everything about him. I feel like yeah. I don't know. I feel like I don't know anything about him. No, I could see Jake being like a Captain America type character. Absolutely, like, and you know, most charismatic yeah. dude. You know, he's like, um, you know, he's got beautiful hair. <laughs> <laughs> you just see him with that star on the chest shield. Yeah, like shield it up. Yeah, I could totally see him yeah. with a shield and a star on his Jake, chest. Jake got good morals. Jake he hates does. America though, so he does. <laughs> right, he would be. Maybe like a cool um, Islamic, you know, Islam superhero. America should have just catered, bro. Should have brought the whole like the whole uh, gallon thing down. But now we were just saying how you would be the probably the Captain America like of our, our Marvel universe because you're like you're like the great guy, like the nice guy that don't oh. do wrong. But Thanks. we say you hate we say you hate America though, so you wouldn't be Captain America. You'd be like Captain. Uh, Who would Kevin be? Oh, I'm Iron Man for sure. Mr. Incredible. <laughs> it's my favorite character. <laughs> that's not a Marvel character, silly <laughs> goose. Um, that's not a Marvel character. No, I think... Lola need a mic. Who did you say you were? I said I'm Iron Man. That's my favorite Iron character. Man. I think that's relatively reasonable. Yeah, that's reasonable. I think you are Iron Man. Yeah, I want to be the, the dumb rich idiot. You know what I mean? Oh, his vision. Oh, vision. that'd be cool. Vision's a dope character. Vision is the blind one, right? No, no. Vision got, is the, <laughs> the robot. The robot. With the stone, stone in his forehead. Oh, that fuck. I can low key, yeah. I think I kind of want to be like Spider Man or like Deadpool, though. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of who Otis would actually be. No, I think you're kind of like the Hulk because you remind me of like Bruce Banner, like the actual like human version of the Hulk. Okay. And then you would just and get. You do go pretty nutty yeah, when you get mad. You would get hella <laughs> mad. Like, I can see you just. Getting all big and green yeah. and angry or not? <laughs> getting all big and green. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that'd be hilarious, though. I don't think I would look like the Hulk, though. If my like, I think I would also, you know, become something. I don't think I would be that big green guy, though. No, do you know who Abomination is? No. If Oates turned enemy. into the Hulk, he'd look like Abomination. That sounds very rude. No, 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 no. And I'd like to see a picture of. I am pulling it up. <laughs> That's a terrible name to have, right? <laughs> the abomination? <laughs> Can't look good, right? I don't ever want to hear that I look like an abomination. No, oh, it's trust me, Dottie. Maybe the abominable snowman. Oh, jeez. That's kind of cool. So, like, this is in the Hulk movie that came out? Like, what, like... like 2007 early? or something? Yeah. This was his enemy that he fought. Yeah. And it was, like, the same... It's too Aki, though. It would, no, but... Yeah. Aki. Do you think that's just what my soul looks like? I just feel like <laughs> rather than you getting angry and turning into the Hulk, it would m- look more like something that's more so more something aquatic. Jesus Christ, something, more, that like something more like that. He looked like just an aquatic Hulk. Yeah, 
There's an aquatic Hulk. Did I just miss something in this conversation? Well, he kind of looked like a fish Hulk. Oh, okay. You know, that's good that's to know. Kind of the vibe I got. Fish Hulk. Fish Hulk. What are we doing here, guys? Yeah, I'm cool with Fish Hulk as my local <laughs> character. <laughs> oh, God. All right, hold on. You guys keep it going for a second. Have any of your podcasts so far been less intelligent than this? <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, the only yeah, reason as to that is You like, got to catch me when I'm not, like, after work. God damn, it's like 1.30, first yeah. of all. We didn't plan for this in the oh, slightest. Oh, yeah. Didn't plan at all. We these just made little, it happen because I had to have something out by Thursday. We got we to gotta do one with Darian because me and Darian always get into yeah. the fucking weirdest no. shit. We got to do an actual one in the studio where it's like a real podcast. This one's just for fun, fellas. This one I think everybody will enjoy because we're just going to be goofing around. You goofing know? and gaffing. Goofing and gaffing. Laughing. I don't know because everybody be liking the other ones, though. Like the real, like, like good ones, like the ones where we do map production to it. So I don't know. We'll see, mm. though. Like I was telling him, I want to try not to worry about what people think. So yeah, I'm trying dude. to just do it. Who gives a but fuck? Right Who gives a fuck? Ooh. Lola puppy. What are you? Oh, oh, she's, she's, she's also goofing and gaffing. She is goofing and gaffing. Oh, man. Yeah, I think Abomination would be a good fit for you, Boat. Yeah. I think I'm just really stuck. I think I just really want to be Deadpool. And I don't think it's gonna happen because I'm not funny enough. <laughs> You're funny, but yeah, but not, not the in same way. way. Yeah, he's witty. You know, I'm kind of like oh, <laughs> I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say in that. the best way. In the best way. I'll okay. Say that. All right. Just to make it not weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh. No, I could see Hulk. I could see why. Yeah, because I'm a bit like. Um, you know, I'll be I'll be doing a fucking cartwheel, and then I'll exit, go into another room, come back in the room, and shit's dark. What? Give me ten minutes, and I'm in a different mood. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. Or a oh. change of setting. Weather. For me, weather is a big part of it, bro. If I wake up and it's raining, bad day. I think weather has a huge effect on your mood, period, though. Like, in, in general. Yeah, yeah like, it's people in general. Like, wintertime, I am never the same person as I am when it's oh, when yeah. it's hot. And, yeah. Have you, uh, and I'm won- I wonder, um, this feels a bit conceited talking about myself like this, but have you noticed oh, yeah. how, like, intense my uh, change in attitude is when it gets warm out? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no, that's for sure a real thing. Isn't that yeah. kind of proven in a way, though? Like, doesn't the sun, like, give you, like, a lot of energy? I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass, but, like, Ugh. I think everybody feels better when it's, like, well, nice I mean, out and it's sunny listen out. To, listen to Spanish music, bro. Well, yeah, but that's, like, that's different, though, because that's, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, hear me out, because that's the most energetic, happy shit oh, in the yeah. world. Oh, yeah. Spanish they're, music they're in the and, sun, and Jamaican know. music. No, yeah, yeah that that's just raw, like... Just Get closer to the equator, yeah. and you're a happier man, I think. No, I think music, bro, has been around for, like, since the dawn of time. Like, music and, like, just what it is. And, like... Because it's one of them weird things, like, that weird form of entertainment where you, you don't need to, like, see it. You don't need to... Most things you need to watch nowadays, like, TikTok, YouTube, Netflix, like, everything you watch. I don't know. I think music's, like, really different. Listen to bird song, bro. And music's birds, been around. Birds be making music. Birds, the birds chirping. Sounds of nature. It's like vibrations is like what I think it is. It's yeah, like it's just like certain vibrations make you feel good. Yeah, it's like a it's like a certain frequency that like because certain music like hits your soul differently. Like like you're saying Spanish music. Every time you hear Spanish music, you just get happy. You just yeah, get hella absolutely. You know what I mean? I've realized about my own music that my entire playlist, ev- almost every song is like the same mood that I get that I'm just searching for, and it's like. Relaxation almost. Yeah. Something like that. That's the kind of music you listen to? You like relaxing music? It, yeah, it's like relaxing or like, uh, mm. uh, you know, laid back. Yep. You're a big See, music I don't know fan. how much this says about me psychologically, but I like to listen to music that makes Jake, me feel like I should kill people. Right, Jake yeah. only listens to hardcore gangster rap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only though, not like only, not only. No, because Jake, Jake knows a lot of bands well and countries. Listened. He's got a nir- one Nirvana song, and yeah. then he's got <laughs> one remixed Nirvana song, right? About two or three Rage Against the Machine songs, 
and the rest is gangster rap. He yeah, could Otis na- just named my whole playlist. <laughs> <laughs> he could name way more people from different genres than I can, but like I know a lot of music, and I like a lot of music. Well, here's the thing: I don't search for a specific genre. I yeah. think I just listen to a lot of music, and certain things just give me a certain mood, and I yeah. like that song. To yeah, just oh, it's, I have a much more diverse playlist than you give me credit for. Not that I think that I have a diverse playlist. You got <laughs> different types of gangster rap. <sighs> Got the the melodic in there. Just because I don't listen to every song that's ever come out of all, from all time ever. <laughs> no, no, just because I'm, my playlist I'm isn't sixteen billion songs me. long, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean uh, that I only listen to one genre of music. I know that's true. I know. No, I. I it's I, just mostly. It's just. It's definitely I, mostly. Or at I'm least more than happy in to most that. settings, and I know it's mm-hmm. different when you're alone. Probably. Well, you know how people would like always clown you when you were long, you're, when you were younger for like liking like like a song or like a country song or like a rock song or whatever, like anybody. I didn't really like that music too much growing up, but I like music. I just like good music. Like if a song is good, I like it. But like a lot of people do that though, where they'll just listen to one kind of music. They'll listen to like one artist. A lot of people like get locked in on one artist and like don't listen to anybody else or like one genre. It gets intense with people. I just think if a song is good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. I'll listen to whatever's good. Exactly. And whatever's, like, right for the mood. Like, that's one thing people got to realize, too. Like, if you're, like, out on the beach, like, certain type of music. Like, if you're in the car, a certain type of music. Like, Me and Jake actually just recently had an argument about this because what's that? at our work area, our workplace, I was <laughs> in the restaurant and uh, I decided to put some uh, reggae on. Yeah, at a sports bar. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I, I do enjoy me some reggae music. I think yeah. it's a vibe in a lot of situations. But a sports bar is just yeah. not fitting for Bob right. Marley to be going bunk, yeah. bunk, on the fucking steel drum. I it's just like, don't think that it's fitting. It's like you don't go to a biker club and play Lil Dirk, you know what right. I mean? Exactly. Right. And I agree with you. But I just, in that moment, I think, really just needed some reggae in my soul. Yeah. yeah and I mean, blew, and I and respect you blew, and you, that. And you blew my vibe. I didn't turn off the reggae, all right? You didn't turn the reggae off? I didn't off? turn the reggae off. All right, but you, you shamed me. I did. Sports bar. No, because I didn't shame you <laughs> Not because you were bar. listening to reggae. <laughs> I do enjoy reggae, but I it shamed you for saying that you don't understand why reggae <laughs> isn't fitting in a sports bar. <laughs> no, I really was only, I was only really, you know, digging into you because there was not a soul at the bar mm. and you were yeah. complaining there was not a single person in the restaurant. Yeah. You know, oh, you if, there was, if, the the, if there was tip top shape, if there was nobody there, then I can get right. The, That's get like the me throwing some uh, reggae on in the car, and Jake's like, "Yep, nah, this dude, ain't the vibe, not dog. the reggae, yeah, right nah, <laughs> switch it up, son." And I'm like, "All right, fine, I'll put the gangster rap back on." Nah, <laughs> dude, not the reggae right now. <laughs> Believe me, bro, I get all the, that's all my mom listens to is reggae. So in my house, that's all I hear. Yeah, and then when I switch it up and play the the rap, God forbid, I will play the rap, right? No, I'm joking. No, yeah, no, God forbid I play the rap in my house. <laughs> my mom can get down. My mom no, likes your mom love, baby. Loves it. Your mom loves it. No, she does not. She your loves a lot like of music. Maybe she just puts on a show. Does your, your mom, mom like Lil Baby? No. <laughs> Dang, that Any, sucks. My mom my likes mom, Lil Baby, at least. Her mood is very affected by music, and if anybody raises their voice in a song <laughs> in any sort of aggressive <laughs> manner, my mom flips the fuck out. Yeah. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter necessarily what they say, no, but, like, but why how so they're saying hearted? it. Yeah, she's like, oh, my God, this makes me, like, this is so angry. Why yeah. would you want to listen? This is so angry. That's no, I'm like, I get it. I was, in, um, I was in the mall with my dad when I was young, and uh, I remember... Um, <laughs> there was an Adele song, and my dad actually got pissed, and he was like, "No, I can't do it because mm. Adele's fucking like yelling at me right now. She yeah. sounds pissed. I can't yeah. do yeah, it." That's hilarious. Yeah, that's we had to every move. time. I think like, we were in JC Penny. Yeah. We had to go to fucking like Macy's or something. Every time she's like, "Why is he screaming mm. at me?" <laughs> you want to hear my hot take, bro? Me and my mom argue about this all the time. Like, uh, my mom doesn't like rap music because like people are too sexual and like disrespectful towards women. That's yeah. like what she says. I could definitely respect no, that. No, I Absolutely. do too. But this is where I this is where I kind of get a little weird about it. Is when like this is like the difference cuz her favorite type of music is reggae music, which is like by far the most sexual music on the planet, right? Yeah, but it's sexual in a nice way. Not necessarily though cuz like the time. when I be, I mean it's different because it's it's less I mean it's different to you because it's like not what we say. 
Well, yeah, but like you know reggae I mean? music is saying like how lovely that woman is, and I want to fuck her. While <laughs> rap music is like, <laughs> I'm. Oh my <laughs> God, yeah, we're gonna that's have right. to bleep that one out, probably. That's, that's money bag yo, not Jake. Yeah, that's money bag opium. Seven thirteen. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Kev, check the timestamp on that. Yeah, Mr. O'Day did. listens to this. Believe podcast. me, I already did. It. <laughs> Yo, yeah, no, that was no. Mr. Cool. O'Day is a G. Yeah, yeah no. but he wouldn't want to cool hear that from cat. his former students. Sure, he's he a would. cool cat. No, I wouldn't. You don't hear think that from my former you don't students. think he does normal everyday fucking things? I absolutely he's just a guy, think he dude. does. Yeah, but no, that's not that, normal that's, everyday. That's shit. true. <laughs> but no, you know what I think too, though, that I was thinking about today, because I was always scared about like people hearing it originally. And, like, what they would think about, like, how we talk and, like, the things, some of the things that we say and some of the takes that we have. But in every podcast I drop so far, I mean, I curse a good bit. You know what I mean? So if anybody's listening, because I know there's a lot of, like, older people that have already listened to it. I've heard. And uh, I don't know. I mean, if everybody likes it so far, I mean, it is what it is. That's what I think. Like, he's... Wait, who said that? Was it you? Me. Yeah, no, yeah. He's kind of right. Like, I mean, not to that degree, because, like, we probably shouldn't be saying things like that. I mean, but it is just a money bag yo lyric. Like, we're doing it for, like... Right, the point of it but what what did you say though like oh no like just i mean people talking like that like people are normal like a lot of people say and do dumb things just like we do in their day-to-day life right. it's just not normal in a group setting to say something like that uh, that's the yeah. thing that, that's the thing that's <laughs> yeah. annoying about it like everybody individually thinks about crazy and weird and stupid things like throughout their day i mean at least i do i i, I hope that's normal for most people but like absolutely you know what i mean like people are weird and people say wild things all the time you just can't Say it out loud, or it's yeah. a bad thing. I don't care. No, I always tried to push back against that, though. Jake, yeah, Jake knows that because I embarrass him a lot in public <laughs> <when> <laughs> talking to people that are yeah. like relatively new to the yeah. environment or whatnot. But that's one cool thing about well, this is like you can stress that to people. Yeah. Like you can tell them that that's how you are. Like I like to be a little jarring because yeah. if like someone's decent, it's if someone's sensitive to jarring shit all the time in a friendly manner. Then, like, the mm. first time they experience something actually jarring, like, it's going to be ten mm. times worse for them. I think to have people just expressing yeah. themselves and being a little bit, exp- like, expressive in an uncomfortable yeah. way is an important thing because I had a lot of insane shit in my life, mm. including, like, public school and yeah. a family of musicians and, you know, crazy shit. Mm. And uh, I think if I didn't experience all that, I wouldn't be able to enjoy that jarring Mm. exciting shit like i do a lot of people are too sensitive man and a lot of people just aren't used to like breaking the norm in their life like a lot of people just like hang around the same crowd like for so long and like don't talk to any new people and they get like involved in little groups where they all have the same opinions and ideas in the moment like somebody steps outside of that and does like something wild to them it's just the craziest thing in the world but like I don't know. I think you should just be you no matter what. Because, like, me and him were just talking about that earlier. Like, when you put that face on, it's like when you're, like, acting a certain way around people, like, it's almost, you're almost doing, like, you how you feel about your own personality, like, a disservice, in my opinion. Right. Because I, I love the way I act. And I, I, I want to try as hard as I can to not, like, hide that from people because, like, I don't know. People love a strong personality also. Yeah. Else. That's what, like, we were just talking about with Brian. Like, I, I understand why people don't like Brian, right? Yeah. Not to say that people actively dislike Brian, but I'm sure there's people that don't <laughs> like Brian. I, don't I know like a Brian. couple. But he is so unapologetically Brian yeah. at all times that right. I can't help but respect it. Oh, yeah. No, you can't. Because it's like, I mean, even to a degree, like, if it's to a point where you feel as though you don't like somebody because... Of how they act, and that's cool. Like, just do you. You don't yeah. really got to surround yourself. And he don't give a shit if you don't like him. Yeah, if you no, don't like him, right. so be it. And that's a good personality trait on mm-hmm. his part. Like, that's good. A lot of people get offended, like, really easily when people, like, dislike them. Like, oh, I don't like your shirt. Like, your shirt's weird. Oh, my God. Like, stuff like that. You know what I mean? People get so offended. That was such a corny expression. No, of I, know. No, I know what you mean. I find myself doing that, too, a lot yeah. more than I would like. Like, catering to what I think people want to hear Yeah. or how... I think people want to hear me talk or like shit like that. Like I, I, I judge myself on the way that I think other people will view me a lot more than I would like that I did. I definitely think that goes away as you get older, but it also doesn't help that we grew up with like social media and stuff where like the, for the last however many years of our life, you were always trying to one up somebody online. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody was trying to impress somebody. Everything's fake. Yeah. So you never, yeah. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah. Weird times and, Humans are weird. (laughs) 
No, yeah, we are, bro. Sometimes I be thinking this is like a test. Like, it really is a test. That's when I start saying crazy, wild conspiracy stuff. The one thing we know least about is our own brain. Oh, yeah, man. That's like the scary thing about it. And, and like the one ocean. thing, what the fuck is up with the ocean? <laughs> the ocean terrifies me. <laughs> and how the fuck do bugs know what to do? <laughs> but how do they? We know what to do. <laughs> to speak right. on your, you think this is a test thing, right? Now I'm not a religious man. Yeah. But there's a quote that says, like, why, like, you know how, like, everybody's like, oh well, if God's so real, like, where is he? You yeah. know what I mean? The teacher is never present during a test. Like they, you know what I mean? Like mm. they may be present, but they're yeah. not helping you out. Yeah, no, that's true. It was actually, it was uh, one of the things said in the comedy show I saw the other day, but it was like, um, you know how, like in the Bible, it tells you a very specific, strict set of rules to follow, mm-hmm. and like, but nobody really does it. Like the thing, like, there's like a thing in the Bible where you can't wear like two different cloths at the same time or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like nobody today follows stuff like that. I mean, I, I mean, maybe there's somebody that is, I, I believe, or I don't know. But uh, the joke was that, like, maybe that really is what you have to do. Like, maybe you have to, like, follow, like, actually every step of the Bible. Like, don't even wear two different cloths. Like, yeah, yeah. and one day, like, it was good to see, you'll wake up in heaven. And yeah. there will be four people there. Like, hey, bro. Yeah. There was only four hey, people man, in history. Put your shoes on on a Monday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You man. ain't getting in. No, nah, no. Nah. And maybe, like, yeah, like, we're all good God, people. Yeah, but, like, bro. we just didn't abide by the specific rules, and you know you what I mean? you just see God and, like. At three, that point, three other people. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. what it is. I don't even want it though. Chilling at a dinner table, yeah. and you're just top five doing all the things that you want to do. Top only five. Yeah. <laughs> it's only gonna be three people there. But nah, I I don't know, man. I did do think like sometimes like I don't know. My my mind shifts on like that all the time because I don't know what to believe. Like you're almost doing your life a disservice by not wondering what the hell this is and what happens after. You know what I mean? Like you could take the idea that like oh like we're just humans are gonna live and we die anyways. But I think that's a very boring way to think about it. I think, and this might be boring in a different way, but my way of thinking about it, so I don't have a fucking like panic attack. <laughs> Is uh, I try to think like there's not really a point in thinking about it because nobody's ever going to know the answer. Well, I think that could possibly not be true because what if when this is over, like something else starts and like there's a part of you that like remembers what you used to be or like you just know that like you came from something like what if when you die, like let's just say hypothetically like it does restart. Like, maybe there is more. Or maybe, like, what? let's say hypothetically heaven's real. Maybe there is more after. You know what right. I mean? And maybe you will know when you're there. You will never know. Like, this conscious, like, form of you, like, what your body is right now might never know. But, like, maybe what you are now, like, the the reincarnation theory. Like, what if you're something else, like, in a past life you just don't remember? Right. Like, there's, like, my thing is, like, you could say all that talk is crazy and, oh, it's just a conspiracy, but what I'm saying is it's fun to, like, why not think about it? Well, I get what no, you're get, saying. Yeah, like, it, get, okay. it's, like, scary and it's, like, whatnot, but I don't know. I think, for me, at least, it's really it's fun, fun to, like, explore things like that because, like, I don't know, it keeps your mind thinking, it keeps your mind moving, and then it gives conversations like this for a podcast. Right. <laughs> I don't think people think enough about space i don't oh, think yeah. that that is something that we we ponder nearly enough as a society mm. like mm. i could get into this yeah even the fraction of what we know about space is fucking insane mm. it is endless like i there's a there's a comedian that was like it, it makes no fucking sense endlessness is expanding yeah. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, space is a scary one, man. You want to know another theory I've been having recently? I, I was telling Darian about it the other day. You know what I think? Like, you know how they uh, always describe, like, the ancient people that we know of that existed on our planet? Like, you know how they always describe them as, like, people that, like, didn't really have anything? Like, they were, like, traveling by boat. Like, they were killing with, like, spears and stuff. Like, obviously that happened. But I think at some point, like, you know, like, the pyramids and, like, the... The area in Rome where it's like that big, I forget what the building's called. I had the same problem when I was telling him. But there's like a big like seven football stadium. Uh, like sundial. No, uh, maybe. I don't know. But uh, this was like a big like concrete slab in the floor that was like built like apparently during the Roman times. But I guess I heard in a podcast the other day that even the Romans didn't know who built that, like, the thing before that. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking bullshit. Right, like, but, it, they built the building around it. 
but yeah, apparently the Romans didn't even know who built this thing. And we don't know how the pyramids were built. So what I was going to say is my theory is I think there probably was other humans on the planet at some point that could have been way more, if not equally advanced to us. Yeah. Like Maybe they figured out a way out. And maybe, well, no, I'm saying like, because you know how like we don't know how they were able to do it. Like we always like mm-hmm. chalk it up to like aliens or like tell or, like whatever you call you it. Can't like can't the, the slaves built the no. slaves. So that's what that's no. that's dead seriously what I think. And like you ever hear things like Atlantis too? Like if that's true, I really think at some point on our on this planet, like there was another civilization of people. Cause, I mean, that's like true. Like there, there's no way like. There was always life on this planet, like going back forever. And uh, you can't tell me some of them couldn't have gotten more advanced than we are now. We just don't know about it because the world got hit by a meteor and just destroyed everything. You know what I mean? Or like uh, like the Ice Age or like anything, like anything that could have destroyed what was left behind from other people on the planet. Yeah, I just think like whatever built those things, like it was possible that they were people that were more advanced than we are now and they're just no longer here. Yeah, I think it's possible. They found a way out, man. They saw they, <laughs> they saw what we are yeah. seeing now, and they got the mm. fuck up out of here. The they thing, left us behind. Yeah, the thing that got me thinking about that, though, like, is just how arrogant people are in thinking that we're the most advanced now that we've ever been. When we can't we can't explain any of this shit. You know can't what I mean? Into the past. I think it's extremely yeah. ignorant to believe that, and I don't know if if anybody does truly believe this. I I am blown away that we're the only life. Oh yeah. Out there. Oh yeah, no way. Bullshit. There's no shot. No shot, right? There's no way that could be true. Out of all of the mm. quintillion, I know that's not a big enough number, but we're just going to use that cuz it's the biggest number I could think of. Random floating space rocks out yeah. out there. We're the only one. This is the only one that has yeah. life on it. My dick. Here's a <laughs> here's a dumb 2 a.m. question. You ready? If you know how like in the air like there's like living like bacteria and like organisms and particles just like in the air and shit. Yeah. You know where, all right, this is where I'm going with this. Do you think that that exists on other planets? Like microscopic shit just flying through the air, like organisms and shit that are on other planets and then in turn would that be like life on other planets? So it's possible, right? Yeah, uh, maybe not any planets that we know of, but I think that there's definitely life Forms of any sort. On there is an absolutely <laughs> uncomprehendable amount of planets oh, out yeah. there, and like so it, galaxies and solar systems. Yeah. Like we can't I mean, be the only ones. Odds dude. are, you know, <laughs> like yeah. nah, no shot. And if that's the case, I'm truly scared for whatever this whole thing is. That's like would be having me thinking crazy about this whole thing. Is like, what is everything? Like, what is all the galaxies? <laughs> like, what do you call you that? You know what freaks altogether? me out, bro? <laughs> is I think about how, like, everything is made of something. So there's just an infinite, like, there is an infinite amount of things before the ne- next thing. Like, an atom is made of something. And then whatever that something is that makes the atom is made of something. So it's like, yeah. it's What's impossible for you to stop somewhere. What's the beginning? Right. Like, you could cut something in half for an infinite amount of time. Oh, God. That That is oh a God. great, like, I don't know if you want to call it an analogy, but I would. you can cut something in half for an infinite amount of time. Right. That's nuts. That yeah. That is weird to think about. I've never thought about it like that. So, like. That is pretty And wild, I'm no man. science, you know. The hell got you thinking about that? Science that's, major that's or a, anything, that's but crazy. That, I'd be thinking about shit. (laughs) No, I know. This stuff be driving me crazy, too. But that's what I mean. Like, when people be saying, like, you know the whole argument, like, is the ocean or, like, space scarier? I personally think you're, like, crazy if you say the ocean. Like, crazy. I think, like, the ocean is scarier to me because, like... We're closer to to me for my life. Yeah, because it's prevalent. I am most likely never going to have to experience whatever Mm. the fuck is out there in space. There's a good chance I have to experience what's in the ocean, and I don't want to. But people always say, like, we don't know what's down there. Like, and while that's true, like, we don't know everything that, like, is within the ocean. The ocean is manageable. Like, we know what the whole Earth is. You couldn't even begin to imagine what the entire galaxy in space is. You know what I mean? Right. And, like, what could possibly be out there? That's why I think space is scary. I think space is a billion times scarier. I start thinking about it, and 
that's freaks me out. that's oh, like yeah. that's literally the biggest mind fuck in the world. Like, how do you think? How do you even like? I've think definitely of that? been you more. I've that. been more scared thinking about space than I have been being in the ocean. Oh no, the ocean terrifies me in real life. I hate the. Well, no, I love being in the ocean, only like twenty feet out. But like being on boats, like out in the ocean, like my, one of my biggest fears is like being on like a Titanic situation where like in the middle of the ocean, oh yeah, and a boat sinking. And I've been on plenty of cruise. Oh like, my god, well, not plenty, but I've been on three cruise ships in my life, and they were great. But that is my worst fear. Yeah, I couldn't. I seriously would have a hard time imagining a situation that I would. Be less like that. I would. I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say. That I would want to be in less yeah. than that situation. No. Do you want to hear my worst fear scenario? I, I I built this story in my head the one day. It's not a story, but it's like a visual kind of thing. Like I'd be on a boat, right? Because these are my three biggest fears right here. I'd be on a boat that like crashes into like a bridge in the middle of nowhere in an ocean, right? Mm -hmm. Like a big bridge, like a Golden State Bridge. Well, and then if there's a bridge, then you're not in the middle of nowhere. But just say, for example, <laughs> the bridge is just never ending. On either side, it's just a big ass bridge in the middle of the ocean. Um, a boat that crashes into this bridge that then sinks into the water, and then I gotta like swim and then like climb a ladder to the top of like a tall ass like bridge above an ocean because I'm scared of heights, and then I have to battle a giant spider. <laughs> That's, That's my That's number nightmare one situation. nightmare scenario. Like, if you want to fry my brain, if we live in a simulation, <laughs> that's what you'd put me through. I think to fry my brain, all that it would take is, like, schizophrenia. I think my biggest Ooh. my biggest fear is going insane. Yeah, no, that, that one's simple, but that one scares me. Or, that one really terrifies me. The, another one that's really simple that terrifies me is, like, being a vegetable. Mm. That, like, terrifies me. I being think paralyzed. Would, I would definitely rather be paralyzed than lose my mind oh god yeah i mean if when if you lose your mind you have you have absolutely no control you have no concept yeah. of anything that's going around that's yeah. going on around it's you it's terrifying it's horrifying yeah no i wasn't necessarily trying to compare them those would both be horrible like i wouldn't want to deal with either of those things and think about it like intense schizophrenia or like going nuts all that shit mm. you just labeled your worst fears can happen in your head. Yeah, that's fucked, man. But I don't know, man. Like those people, like, what do you think? What do you think causes that? It's actually genetic, really. Like, I don't Sometimes. know if it's directly genetic, but, but what? I know that it is common that it Extreme runs in PTSD families. Extreme PTSD and trauma is also. I wonder if what originally in the brain, like, or in the genetics, causes it. Anyways, like, if we've ever been able to figure that out. Just a different balance of chemicals in your brain i don't know man but that's possible within all of us you know what thing one thing is really scary that i think about all the time especially a lot more now because i always hear about it is like cte because i played football my whole life mm. and uh you they can't even test your brain to see if yeah. you have cte until after you die yeah so that's there's nuts. no there's no way of telling did you hear about that i think it was a football player that killed himself and like saved his brain so they could do tests on it for cte Really? Yeah. I mean, man, it's that's a big problem, like, with football. It really is. Like, football and fighting, those are, like, the two worst sports for that. And soccer, funny enough, from hitting yeah. the ball. It might have been a fighter. It was either a fighter or a football player. But it's some mm. sport with head trauma. Yeah, no, there's a lot of those in football. There was, like, a famous Steelers lineman that I think killed himself and his whole family. Wow. Because of it. Yeah. He just started going crazy. And, like, that's what happens. It's kind of like... Self-induced schizophrenia. No OJ killed his family. Uh, OJ definitely did it, right? OJ well, didn't do it. You don't think so? <laughs> yeah, you know OJ got like a Twitter page now, and he'd be like tweeting like "Hello world," like <laughs> he'd be on Twitter like tweeting and. Hey guys, and bro, you that, guys definitely don't remember that one incident. I never thought we would live in a society where OJ Simpson was just on Twitter <laughs> tweeting away. And we live in a society where like people like six nine can just come out of jail. People are saying. Three six nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, not even him because he's nowhere near. Like that OJ one. Like that's yeah, that yeah. thing is. What, this is not your John Ray. I'm not bugging on this. You could bug on yeah. it. It's mine. <laughs> but uh, I mean, bro. Courtroom said OJ didn't do it. The judge said glove ain't fit. He didn't do it. But the glove didn't <laughs> fit. No, you know what? It's actually a cool topic that we bring that up because my mom had to go to a jury duty thing today, right? And uh, so I never knew what that was actually like because I never knew anybody that actually went to it. And she should. She was telling me like what the people were like, dog, 
And I can almost see why, like, when there's any case that involves a jury, that things can go horribly wrong. Oh, fuck yeah. Because, bro, she was telling me, like, everybody in there didn't want to be there. Like, nobody wanted to be there to begin with, so nobody cares. It wasn't a short trial. And, like, I don't know, man. Like, you can't task regular people with something like that because people are dumb. And it's crazy that, like... Like, I understand the reasoning behi- behind why, yeah. like, jury duty's a thing, and they just have random people come and do it, but, like, mm. it's crazy that in such a high-profile case, you're leaving it yeah. up to Joe Schmo from uh, Second Street. This is my thing. This could be a very dumb and or smart statement, but you're telling me there's no, like, crazy tech wizard out there that can create some algorithm to try to help solve, like, certain cases? Like... All the different possible scenarios that could have happened to at least try to narrow it down. What's more likely in the future is AI making their own algorithm for stuff like that. But that's like, because you could really use that stuff to solve a lot of things. Like, I don't think people realize how prevalent stuff like that's going to be in the future. Like, with technology. Like, at one point, bro, there's going to be cameras everywhere. Like, you're not going to be able to, like, murder somebody without your phone pinging it right to somebody where, like, they know, like, what's going on. I don't know. Like, I don't see that not happening in our future. I think about that, bro. Imagine how easy it would have been to get away with Mm. murder in, like, the 20s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's funny, bro. Like, that's one of them wild thoughts you ever think about. You ever think about that? Like, oh, there was, like, no cameras, like, in the 60s. You could have just robbed anybody. Wherever you wanted to. I would probably be a robber in the 60s. Oh, my God. I probably yeah. would have been a horrible person before, like, you guys were everything was connected. In the 60s? You guys were pickpocketing in the 60s? I almost pickpocketed mm. in the fucking 2000s. <laughs> really? <laughs> I've thought about it a lot. That's why people were su- was, such, like, go ahead. J- just I was going to say when I was shoplifting a lot. Mm. That's why people were such yeah. barbarians when it was, like, the cowboy days. Because, like, it was just. <laughs> Fuck you going to do. It was just martial law. You yeah. did what you wanted to There's do. There's a gun in your face. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why people were sort of barbaric back then, because you didn't have to like answer to the entire world when you did something wrong. Like you nowadays, to answer to your wife, or you could kill that bitch. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we oh, doing, man? <laughs> back to the conspiracies, though. Yeah. You got any good ones over there, Otis? Michelle Obama's a man. No, <laughs> oh, no. God. I'm just Australia's not yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you book a plane ticket, Jake, to Australia and see? I'm going to. Oh, yeah? At some point. Do you know that Jake wants to live in Australia? Yeah. yeah. We can't let him go there, bro. I He's think th- Australia maybe, I think, would be a little bit more depressing than you think. He's Just because eat. of, you know, I guess it depends where you go. Have you ever been to Australia? Hell no. He's going to get eaten by a spider. Huh? He's going to get eaten by a spider. Yeah, I just don't think, judging by the way that you squeal when you see a uh, silverfish, Ooh, I don't yeah. think you Bro. squeal when I, I, I used to, absolutely. Bro, <laughs> yeah. I live with them motherfuckers now. Those bad boys are my roommates. <laughs> I seen a picture the other day, bro, and Lord knows if it was real or not. Like, this shit could have been CGI. But it was like a picture of a tree that had a spider probably the size of, like, that thing on your wall, like that, that wooden board. Yeah. Just on a tree. Like sideways, like a, no, it was that was probably bigger than that. I know I'm probably, what picture you're talking about. It was it's like, like a real old picture. It was like on a tree, and then there's hella little spiders around it. Yeah. Oh my god, bro, it was terrifying. And it was in Australia. I think that I would rather live with giant spiders than Americans. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, you know what I think about sometimes. I could defend myself against a human. I'm Go really for it, glad though. that like crabs aren't as dangerous as they look. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of yeah. things that aren't as dangerous as they look. Because crabs freak me out. That's one thing about the beach. Mm-hmm. I can't really deal with the crabs, man. You can't the crabs get you? Not, what? Ha- the, well, I've gotten got by the crabs. Yeah. So now yeah. it's all I expect. For me, it's jellyfish, bro. Ooh, I have gotten stung no, by jellyfish demon. on more than one occasion, and I mm. can't go in the water like without it being the yeah. number one thing on my mind. For me, I just have to get through the shallow end, and once I'm deep... I'm I'm happy. And that's when you get stung. Yeah. Yeah, that's when you get stung, but I've never gotten stung. I've only gotten my uh, toes chomped on. <laughs> never happened to me. I have a big fear of it, though. It's awful. I've stepped on a crab before. Yeah. It didn't pinch me. I never got pinched by a crab either. Oh, man, I stepped poor on one. guy. And you see his, like, little legs go up. No, that, bro. It's terrifying. Like, when I'm in the ocean and, like, 
seaweed touches me or like if I get touched by anything, like if I touch like a seashell on the ground, dog, I'm a panic. I'm a swim away. Yeah, I swear to God. What are those things called? Horseshoe crabs? Oh, dude, those things are free. Those dude. things are yeah, nuts, I picked bro. One up before. Bro, yeah, what is too. it? Them and disc inf- things, like them fat things. It's like them Big shell, like, yeah. I yeah. was in the Acid Island. And I hate those up. things. Would you say they're called horseshoe crabs? Horseshoe I crabs, hate those yeah. things. I was they're in Jersey blood. and found a fucking big one. It was dead, but I just found it on the ocean. <laughs> those things oh, are yeah. so scary looking. Yeah, yeah. Almost everything in Jersey is dead, but I was in Acid Island. That's a good and, uh, point. You're not wrong. Yeah, they they uh, they're crawling around the beach down there, bro. Same with the, just walking around with the horses, wild horses. It was sad, bro. Since the last time I went down there, bro, those people are messed up. Uh, Assateague Island? Huh? Oh no, Jersey, uh, just <laughs> Jersey, yeah. <laughs> Those people are messed up. Atlantic like City. No, Jerseyans. not like Jersey. I can't give a bad rep to Jersey. Yeah, New Jerseyans. Those are some people, but Atlantic City specifically, they suck, bro. Yeah, bro. You people try suck. It. Besides my one guy outside of the Hard Rock, he definitely either like hooked up with the baddest girl in the Hard Rock or won like a million bucks. Because at 7 a.m. sharp, bro, we're walking on the beach and like we're going back to the hotel. This guy's just standing outside. Younger kid, probably like 24, holding the door open for people, just dragging the bogey. Like, just dragging <laughs> it like this. He's like, yo, you guys have a good day, man. Like, <laughs> kicking it at the door. Like, uh, oh, He probably won 400 yeah. bucks on the You know he's not employed by nobody. Yeah. He's Dog. just doing that shit for fun. <laughs> he was living. He was on top of the world. Those are the only two scenarios I could have thought of, bro. There's no way in the world. It might have even been a little bit earlier than 7. Like, if you're out there at like 6.45 a.m., Holding the door open for people, like just in a polo, dragging a cig. I see people like oh, that, and God. I want to give them a hug. Yeah, man, he was a nice dude. I the like only the, like the reason I bring him up is because I was just talking about how shitty the people were there. He was the only nice dude we ran into while we were down there. That's awesome. I have a I'm friends with a squirrel from New Jersey. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> What's his name? You know, I'm not sure he has a name. I don't speak squirrel, but this one time I was in New, Jer- New Jersey by the beach. Oh yeah. There's a squirrel walking right next to me, and I went, walked closer to me, dude. That's tough. Trained squirrel. <laughs> Pretty trained. Why do you think they're more scared of us here than in Jersey? Probably because there's more people in New Jersey and they feed them a lot. That's, oh, that's a good point. Is there more people in? I doubt that. I think there's Even more people, more in, people PA. in New Jersey. There has to be more people in PA. PA is a big state, man. I would imagine there's I'm more saying, people well, more per people capita per, yeah, in New Jersey. Uh, yeah, per square foot. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Jersey's really There's small. probably about two feet per square foot in New Jersey in certain areas. What? <laughs> I want to look at biggest state Two by population. Two human feet per square foot. <laughs> gotcha. That one got to me. I didn't, I didn't know how to respond to that. <laughs> well, let's see this. What are you looking up? Biggest state by population. I think it's... Is it, is it not New York? New York's number one for sure. Yeah. Then California, number two. Oh, shit. No, maybe not. Transylvania, number four. Nah, there's uh, literally no way that's true, bro. I can't what believe it. What is it? It's California, then Texas, then Florida, then New York. Then Pennsylvania. Are you sure it's number of people? It says by population. And it's Cal- California is 39 million. I thought it was New York, then California. But California is apparently 39,613,000. Texas is 29,730,000. That makes sense. Texas is huge. Yeah. Florida is 21,944,000. New York is 19,299,000. And Pennsylvania is. Twelve million eight hundred and four thousand. Illinois is like pushing though; they're about to beat us out. That's Chicago. We well, got to start making people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're about to can't let them kids out. Can't let Illinois beat us. They're about oh. to. Bro, oh. I can't believe that though. I gotta like find a second. You need a second opinion. Yeah, a second opinion. Start oh, no. poking holes in the. Uh, that is what in the Condoms saying. in the dollar stores. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> oh my god, you are I can I can imagine somebody going around doing that like just for fun. Mm, that's oh, demon just time. being an absolute menace. menace. Yeah, dude. That's demon. We we shouldn't be putting that information out there. No, <laughs> you probably no. no I, I wasn't even really like thinking about that. I saw <laughs> this bit and it was it was pretty funny. It was uh the amount of power you have if you just have a bike lock is nuts. That's true. A bike it is. lock. One time if I you put have a bike lock on a girl's ear in high school, no, you didn't. I did. Oh, yeah, but didn't you unlock it? What through like a gauge? It. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Jesus, yeah. that's Bro, bad. Yeah, I. You could like you could walk up to McDonald's, your clothes, <laughs> <laughs> click. <Yeah. laughs> Dang, that's yeah. yeah, that's a rough go of it. <laughs> yeah, 
man. Shit's crazy. I don't know why. I don't know why <laughs> it's all right for us to have bike locks. That locks should not be allowed. Right. have yeah. a lot of things. You could buy like chains. You could buy chains with locks on the master locks. Yeah, but a bike lock, man, you just fucking walk just up, click, right you're, you're done. It's the accessibility yeah. of it, right? You can really just yeah. lock up, shut anything down. Right? Yeah, anything. Yeah. Wife's in the basement, locked. <laughs> Ooh, just lock her in there. Uh, and run upstairs. I think Otis is a misogynist. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's just talk about means. it. Let's go with the, let's go with the misogyny over there. Misogyny. Misogyny, man. Oh yeah. Women <laughs> just suck, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. It's not nice to say. There's a lot of uh, nice women out there. A lot, of, a lot of bad ones too, though, right? Suck these nuts. <laughs> There's a lot of good and bad people, no matter what. Uh, no matter no what matter side what of the spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. What side of the spectrum you're faced with? That's right. So what the fuck are we doing here? You guys still want to play cards or no? I'm about play ready cards. for bed. Ready for bed? How long have we been going? An hour. Hmm. Good. I mean, whatever the gang feels. Yeah, good? whatever the gang feels, I'm good. I I'm feel good. happy. You guys are good. I'll keep going. I'll cut it. I'm down for whatever, brother. Down for whatever. I feel like we've covered some really, you know, important oh, topics yeah. tonight. <laughs> I feel like we've really cracked the code yeah, on dude. a lot of things. No, I don't think we cracked the code here very no, much. No, man, all. I feel like we've educated the youth <laughs> with this one. I really nah. feel like we've put out some good, solid, you know, knowledgeable information <sighs> out to the world. And oh, I yeah. think that everybody deserves to uh, to enjoy our perspective. Yeah, That's man. right. Hey, man, enjoy it. If you want to, don't enjoy it. If you don't want to, either way, you this know, has been live your life. The three Pokemon evolutions. Yeah. <laughs> the three, the three Pokemon evolutions. Kevin the man, Jake the legend, also the man. Kevin, you're also a legend. And me, Otis. Oh the, yeah, the man Thanks, legend. Guys. Quit vaping. Peace the and man love. Legend. Yeah, quit vaping, guys. What's going on here? Mm. Quit vaping. I will. Hey, yeah. All right. On that note, everybody, you quit vaping too. <laughs> we'll get him to quit vaping because it's gross and it sucks, right, Jake? It is gross and it sucks. Right. So don't do it. Be like Jake, or don't be like Jake. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Love you.